Welcome back, Van Heist. This week, we start our final chapter of our comic book project. Now, remember, last week we were penciling. We were doing all of the illustrations just with pencil. This week, it's all about finalizing our comic and turning it into pretty much just a pencil drawing on paper into something a little bit more finalized. So we're gonna be making marks to make our drawings stand out a bit more. We're gonna make them more bold. We're gonna be adding color, of course, and adding a few extra things on the inside. Uh, I'm also gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can make your comic book cover because that really is uh, the thing that's gonna draw your comic book reader in is uh, the cover that they see and what's happening on the cover. Usually there's a lot of action happening and some really bold lettering that draws readers in. Are you ready to get to work? Let's get started. Okay, so our first job as comic book creators today is gonna be to do the inking. Now, you can use whatever inking tool you have. Maybe you have a, a marker um, like this, a washable marker. Maybe you have some type of Sharpie or a flare pen. I think that's what I'm going to use. Just remember, if you are using uh, a Sharpie, these will bleed through, so know that whatever's happening on the other side of your comic, you're gonna be able to see those Sharpie marks. Kind of like in this one, do you see how they bleed through like that? So that is actually the reason why we are not just simply folding this over and making this our cover. We're gonna make a completely new sheet of paper our cover. But I'm gonna get to work on my inking, carefully going over all of my pencil lines. Here we go. All right, I just spent a few minutes getting rid of some of those old pencil lines that I didn't want to see anymore. Now it's time to add some color. I think I'm going to use a combination of markers and crayons. So you can see so far I have my first three panels colored in. Now you can use whatever coloring tools you want for this. Maybe colored pencils or watercolor paint, really whatever you want. I want you to, uh, to remind you though, there's some areas like the, the words that are in boxes at the top of my panels, those are called captions. I'm gonna put all of my captions in kind of a yellow box. But whenever a character is talking or making noise and there's a, either a speech bubble or a thought bubble, I'm gonna keep that bubble nice and white. Also, be mindful of staying within the limits of your panel and keeping your gutters nice and white. All right, I'm gonna keep on coloring. All right, so my two page comic is entirely colored in. Um, and remember, we are gonna be reading this kind of like a book, so if you would like to you know, make some kind of dividing line just to show that these are two pages, just so someone isn't tempted to read it this way, because uh, we do want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you could put a line right down the center. In fact, I think I'm going to do kind of like a dotted line just to show that these are two pages. Great. Now it's time to start thinking of a cover for our comic. Now, instead of just making our cover right here on this side of this paper, I'm actually gonna grab a new sheet of paper. Same way, I'm going to fold it hamburger style. Works best if it's the same size paper or a little bit bigger. And now you can see how my comic is gonna be able to easily slide right inside of this one. So there's a couple of ways that we can attach these uh, two pages together. One great way is if you have a stapler at home, uh, that can be awesome. I would just slide the stapler in kind of like this. You might have to fold your paper over a little and give it a punch along the spine. If you're like me and you don't have a stapler right now, I'm gonna show you a, a pretty easy way that you can do this with some tape. Oh, another option, you could also put some glue on um, either page, some, some squeeze glue or glue stick, and you could glue it down to your title. But actually, before I put it together, I'm gonna start designing my cover. So, these are some 
comics that I've made in the past. And you can see with each cover, I've included the main title or the, I guess usually it's the name of my characters, uh, really nice and big at the top. I like to use block letters. I also always include a little rectangular piece up here at the top. You'll notice in a lot of comics, you'll see a little rectangular area that usually includes uh, maybe the brand or the company that created the comic, oftentimes the issue, what number the comic is, and sometimes it even has the price. Can you see the price of this comic? $3.99. So if you want to make up your own comic company and price, you may. I usually like to use Lynch Comics, 25 cents, and I even came up with a little logo for mine. So let's see. I'm gonna start making my Sterosaurus cover page. All right, there it is, my completed Sterosaurus comic cover. I also added my logo to the back, LC, for Lynch Comics. Now, it's time to put our comic book together, and then I'm gonna show you what you can do with the extra pages. I'm gonna make sure that my book opens up nicely, just like this, and I want this one to match just like that. Now, I'm gonna take some tape. Again, there's a few ways to do this. Tape is one of the ways. I'm gonna take some tape, one piece of tape up here near the top where those two pages meet. Just right there. I'm gonna put another piece near the bottom. Again, stapler works really well, but I don't happen to have a stapler right now and tape can be a great alternative. So now the pages stay together and to get, just to sort of reinforce it, I can put another round of tape pieces on this side. Make sure everything creases nicely. And there I should have a comic book that opens up just like this. Now you might be wondering what to do with these extra pages in here. Well, I'm gonna show you a few uh, options for that. I have this old comic that some of you may have seen called The Adventures of Starburst. This is another character that I created. And you can see on the inside page, just like my Stereo Stories comic, I actually cut out pieces of paper and I added them here. On this one, I put an advertisement for the all new 3D Hypno Ring. So if you wanna make up your own uh, funky gadget that you wanna sell in your comic, you could do that because a lot of comics actually have advertisements and kind of commercials. On this page, I added uh, kind of like a secondary title page, sort of like when you open up a book and you see the title again. I just added another title and I taped all of these in. Then here's my main comic body. And over here, I had some extra pages, just like I have in Sterosaurus, these two extra pages back here. So one fun idea is to cut out some paper and tape or paste in a how to draw your main character. Maybe that could be fun to do with Sterosaurus. And on this last one, I made an advertisement for a new line of comic books, maybe a different character that you created that you'd want to include in your next comic book. You could draw a picture of that character right here. And sometimes I like to include a little message on the back. So that is all that I've got for you, Van Heis. I hope you've enjoyed this comic creation project. I can't wait to see how your comic books uh, turn out. So take your time. If you're not able to complete all of this in one day, that's totally okay. Take a break and come back to it later. The important part is that you have fun doing it. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see how your comics turn out. Happy comic book making!